That looks good, man. Is this the sound you bought? No. Oh, you said your friend does that. Yeah, my best friend. I love this song. You want to tell me what all you got in here? I have two Soundcube HDX 312s on the Soundcube 2250 and it's completely stock electrical except I have a 200 amp refurb sure. alternator. Okay. And this is, uh, did you build a box? Huh? No, my best friend actually built okay. it. What, do you know what it's tuned to? Uh, 32 roughly. 32? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, have you metered it yet? Huh? No, that's, that's what I wanted to say. Okay. Yes, sir. Is it one ohm or uh, yeah, two ohm? Okay. They're, awesome. wired, they're both one ohm subs, so they're wired up to two, then back down to gotcha. one. Gotcha. All right. Yes, sir. Sweet. And stock speakers? Huh? No, they're Pioneer, all Pioneer door speakers. Okay. I have trim rings being built for my mids and highs. Awesome. All right. Yes, sir. Ready. Set. Can I see your amp? Oh, uh, yeah. Awesome. I like the car. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Sound 2 HDX, the new HDX series. The 3 inch one, right? Yeah. 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 That looks good, man. Is this the sound you bought? No. Oh, you said your friend does that. Yeah, my best friend. I love this song. Song for me? Oh yeah. Or the same song? I like the song. It's pretty good.
daily cardio videos hope you enjoyed the build today a little bit more on the quieter level not as loud as a 150 plus trunk build but still fairly impressive uh, maybe considered budget for some of you guys with uh, SoundCube uh, the new HDX series 12s uh, pretty custom different type of box I'll talk about some stuff later on that so first want to say appreciate you guys watching be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as a comment some feedback if you uh, enjoyed the build let them know as well as me so if you didn't know, I'm on Instagram and Facebook, Jacob Viral, so go ahead and uh, add me, Jacob Viral, and subscribe if you haven't, as well as I do daily shout-outs, so if you want a shout-out, just let me know as well. So I'll go ahead and do the shout-out of the day. Today is going to go to a Facebook user, Mike Merritt. He said, hey man, what's up, Jacob? Not sure if you have a YouTube, if I need to have a YouTube channel for a shout-out, but wanted to say, keep up the videos, man. Love all the builds, especially the budget ones, such as this one I posted. He said, I wish my girl would like bass like you, man. Uh, she thinks I'm old, but for it will never stop either way. So yeah, man, uh, Mike, I appreciate it. Thanks for the feedback. Uh, glad you enjoy the budget builds like I do as well. So that's like this one. And um, yeah, man, it's it's not every day you get to be with a girl that's a, a base head. So I'm proud to be with Jessica, the one that's my base head girl. So that's all I got there. I appreciate you watching, Mike. There's your shout out. So yep, Facebook, Jacob Vile. You can message me questions anytime. Instagram and Facebook, shout outs as well. And check out your build. I'll also check that out. Let me know. You Send me video pictures. It's great to see. All right, so I have two, no, three little small things to bring up about this build. And not just this build, but in general with trunk build focus. So what I mean by that is anybody that has a trunk build, there's normally three topics that you want to focus on, and those are box placement, port type and location, as well as sealing off the trunk or not sealing off the trunk. So the first one is box placement. The focus on box placement, obviously it's going to depend on the vehicle, depending on the amount of space you have for your trunk, but 90% of the time, for example, the way this build was today, your box placement is going to be most optimal with it as close to the cabin as possible with the subs facing into the cabin as long as I'll go to the next topic on that next discussion a little more. But as long as you can seal it off and you ensure that all the pressure is going into the cabin, which is into the vehicle. But there's a lot of cars where the back seats can't go down. So then that's where you got to deal with figuring out the most optimal loud way for you to do maybe a blow through port through the top above. The, um, in the back da rear dash or you have to uh, use the center seat adjuster point there's like a little um i guess support arm support area where there's a little hole some people do that if you can't put your seats down at all some people take them out or fabricate and if there's nothing else worst case you might have to just turn your box the other way it's usually louder that way there's a lot of different variables so it's testing next thing port type so in this particular build, he had PVC ports, so it was custom. So he had two PVCs in the middle. Not many people do that normally at slot port or air port. Slot port probably works best, but 
on a BERT SPL case in there. I think majority of people do SPL um, arrow ports, the big ports, because you can tune to different tweaks to whatever you want to basically peek at and do a BERT. So it ensure that you're also sealing off your trunk as well. Um, any daily driver, you're going to want to have your back seats as well, so I understand. But best case scenario, seal off, have the subs facing forward like this guy did. Um, but test it out. It can't go by just what I say. So if anybody's got some feedback for trunk setups in particular, be sure to give some feedback on that in the comments. So a lot of people will have trunk bills that watch my videos. So maybe it got a little brainstorm and getting ideas for maybe something you might want to do with your trunk. Um, you should be an expert with your build because it's yours. You play with it every day. But you might jam, but you never know. You could get a little louder just by a simple, small tweak, such as adjust to the port, box placement, sealing off a little better, maybe even where the location of the box is and tuning. So until next time, check them vial out. Thanks for watching, guys. See you tomorrow.